Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Glad to have you here. Today we have a Empire vs. Greenskins matchup that is a little different from the usual. Um, you can see I have my main, my general setup here. I have five swordsmen, um, four spearmen. I'm expecting an Aragorak spider, but instead of artillery and a, um, I think some of my armor piercing units, I have the Sigmar Sons here, the unbreakable swordsman unit. Um, unsure if this guy's worth it, but unbreakable does definitely help against a Savage Orc Rush, which is what I was expecting, um, because I had played this individual before, um, and that's what I used against him. <laughs> you guys know my Savage Orc Rush. Um, and on this side I have the Tattersouls, these creepy old men who are also unbreakable. Um, and of course I have my hand gunners, uh, my flying goon squad here, uh, and my empire knights out on each flank. As for his army, this is where it gets a little different. Um, his <laughs> front line here is orc era boys, um, and he's got four of them. It's weird for a empire army to be outranged by a greenskin army, um, but in this case, I definitely am. Um, these guys will win out in a just straight up skirmish engagement against two handgunners. So, something to worry about. Um, behind that, he has four orc boys, supported by two black orcs. Um, here you can see Grimgor in the middle. And here, far in the back, he's got an orc biggin. Uh, and on, okay, yeah, and there he has an orc biggin. Uh, over here he has two orc boar boy biggins. Definitely great choice against the Empire. Love that. And over here he's got one unit of goblin wolf riders. Um, and stocked and hidden over here he has two nasty skulkers, which who I will not see for almost the entirety of the battle. Definitely a nice use of sneaky units here um, and something we'll keep our eye out for. So as we start, I definitely see this. Um, this is just a. This is just something when you see an amber wizard on the field. Sadly, you can't do this. You gotta just spread them out, and have them back, maybe like right here, um, and you would not be able to get all four of these units in a flock of doom. But when they're this close, um, you can just drop a flock of doom right here, and you'll hit all four of these units. Start taking off a lot of hit points. Um, but he's gonna move out of that, which is smart but he is walking, so not going to move out quite fast enough. So the orc boys are going to take some damage, the black orcs as well. Um, I see this and I don't know, I'm just a little confused. S actually surprisingly a little worried um, about these orc arrow boys. Um, but I do have my empire knights and so they'll, you can see me slowly moving them up, getting ready to make a charge in here because of this huge gap here that I see between his range line and his melee round line. Um, that is something that you can exploit with a quick cavalry charge. You can see here, great move with the Skulkers. Just moving them out and around. Um, and uh, at this range, I'm just not gonna see him. So it's gonna get a nice flanking infantry charge. Here I drop a Flock of Doom, a little too forward. Um, so the Black Orcs aren't actually gonna take a lot of damage from it. Definitely a misuse of magic there on my part. It will take a little bit, um, but definitely not as much as they should or could have. Um, and here's where my charge is going to come in. My Empire Knights are going to bravely charge the Greenskin line, try and um, just disrupt everything. Opening volley here is going to do some decent damage against the uh, Empire Knights, but they don't do armor piercing damage. And the Empire Knights have shields, so it's not going to do too much. Uh, I'm going to cancel my hero attack there at the last minute. I'm going to get my charge in, and I'm just going to pull out before his broken or orc boar boy biggins can uh, punish me for making this charge. You can see I do decent damage, but not too much. Um, mostly just disruption, and now that he's all bunched up here, perfect for a flock of doom. Gonna get four units there, which is exactly what I want. Just trying to do as much damage as I can before his main line engages here. And you can see everything's all messed up now. And, uh, you know, it's up to him 
in the middle of this game to put it right and charge. So definitely when you do strange things like this and you take the initiative, um, it gives you a huge advantage um, in the game because micro is hard. I'm horrible at it. I bring simple large armies <laughs> where I can't mess it up. And so here he's gonna bring his goblin wolf riders up. And my tatter souls, I definitely don't want them being shot at, so I'm gonna be sending my empire knights after them. And you and me and my micro, uh, you're gonna see. You can watch those empire knights. I am not gonna keep track of them very well. <laughs> here I'm gonna move my sigmar sons in front, hoping that they are the ones that get shot at. and they will be but they're not quite in position so they're gonna get shot in the back great move by Newport sorry I had to cough there I'm gonna move my tattersoles back where they can't be shot at or where it's harder to shoot at them um, but I'm gonna lose micro on these guys and the orc boar boy biggins are gonna get a great charge here into my empire knights and annihilate them seeing the nasty skulkers way out there Still can't see him. Something to be worried about. Um, something to be aware of is that you need to be really close to those stocked units. So he's got a great line here on my handgunners and my the back of my units. But you can see these main units, these orc boys, are not doing very well. And um, then my hero squad is going to come in here. There's no encourage leader support, and it's just going to take one charge here. Um, you can see over here, my empire knights routed. Um, but he's going to lose micro and start chasing, which is um, good for me. Keeps the anti-large units away. So it's just going to take one charge here. And just watch the morale drop. Routing, terrified. Move on to the next. Routing, terrified. Move on to the next. And I'm going to clean up all these units while taking very little damage. My Sigmar Sons is not doing very well, but they are taking the brunt of the Archer fire. Um, and for that, they are paying off. Grimgore here running into the middle. His encourage are a little bit late, and the black works too too they move too slowly to keep up. And so my hero squad now is gonna turn on him and do what they do best. Um, my handgunners opening fire on the orc arrow boys. Um, and a flock of doom here is gonna come down soon, and my handgunners are gonna be shooting in. I barely managed to get my Empire Knights away from the biggins, and I'm gonna charge them around into this blob. Um and here you can see Grimgore not liking getting teamed up on and a flock of doom coming in here with close gunpowder support this, this is not a fight that these black orcs are going to like Sigmar Suns completely wiped out not good uh, but on this side I managed to get my spearmen and my tattersoles into his boar biggins so definitely good trade going on there and I'm going to start moving up my swordsmen um, because I realize I need to get these archers off the field Grimgore is going to be quickly routed by this hero blob. He just is too easily knocked around for him to be effective here. You can see, uh, luckily got a quick charge into the side of those orc boys, but they don't care. And my Empire Knight's not able to get entirely through the orc arrow boys, and they're going to get caught by the biggins. And my spearmen over here doing their job, um, and my hero blob is going to come over here and try and work on these black orcs. Um, while he launches his nasty skulker ambush from the back. Um, but without leadership support, my griffins are going to be able to come in here. Frightened by enemy, minus 10. So they're going to have really poor morale, even if they're almost winning the combat. Um, and then once my general and my amber wizard get in there, they're going to route pretty quick. Um, especially with the handgunner shooting into the side. Oh boy, yeah, you can see almost a full unit terrified off the field. And I'm going to do the same over here. But while this is happening, my poor warrior priest is getting torn apart by black orcs. Does not have enough armor or enough skill here to survive, and I'm trying to micro him out. Um, but he's going to get trapped there and murdered. Here you can see, um, oh, I wish I'd caught that. Um, he was. I saw he had a charge order on my swordsman. So I just, I moved, instead of countercharging, I ran to the side. Um, the Orc Biggins did get a side charge into my Swordsman, but it leaves them completely vulnerable here to my handgunner fire. 
And so whereas this unit would most usually wipe the field with a swordsman unit, um, with close handgunner support, they're going to be completely just destroyed, not like getting shot in the side. Um, and so that's a good strategy there. Let them get the side charge, which opens them up to these volleys into the sides um, with your more powerful units. And that's all it's going to take. Terrified. Yeah. And then just army losses is going to have the rest of the army here route. My poor Sigmarite war priest <laughs> fighting black orcs by himself. Definitely not the fight that guy wants to be in. So you can see here, surprisingly decent kills on these two, considering I threw them away. These ones I threw away, getting charged by four biggins, and these ones I used as arrow fodder. Um, but surprisingly good kills there. They are pretty expensive. Um, so I guess that, you know, they're, they're pretty good units, and Unbreakable is a pricey trait. Um, good kills here on the handgunner, 80 kills. Um, mostly biggins, I think. Oh, maybe nasty skulkers, if it was the one on the other side. Um, good kills on three of the swordsmen. Um, orc boys, maybe. Who knows? Um, and then decent kills on most of the heroes there. So, yeah, definitely interesting army here from my opponent. You can see the orc arrow boys actually got decent kills here. 30 is not horrible. Um, 55 on that orc boy is good. These nasty cookers, is seeing how they were in the fight for like, I feel like, two seconds. Um, they racked up a ton of kills. Um, definitely these black orcs underperforming, um, but these boar boy biggins doing pretty well. Um, wiping out my empire knights and most of my tatter souls. So yeah, it was really the black orcs um, and the main line that just got dissolved before they could even get into combat, really. Um, definitely got to spread your line out a little bit and just space your units. Um, when you're going up against an amber wizard. Anyways, thanks for watching, uh, and I hope to see you next time. That's that.